He's joining me right now. My one and only guest of the show tonight. What's good, man? What's going on? What's happening? I'm good, man. Thank you so much for being back on the show, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. It's been a long time coming, man. I'm glad to be back on the show. Yes, sir. So, um, we got a lot to talk about, man, because I'll be on Twitter like you do. I see the tweets you put out there. Um, obviously, you're a talented hip-hop artist out here in Louisville doing your thing. You got some songs out already. Move On and Love Me or Leave Me, both songs. You can check them out on all the platforms. We'll get to, we're going to get to some other interests you have. You're a wrestling fan like me, and you went to Ohio State yep. football like myself as well. We're going to get into yep. all that. Um, but let's let's start with the music side. And uh, so how's everything holding along with you since this pandemic? How are you health-wise? How are you feeling these days, my friend? Um, I'm feeling great these days. Um given the circumstances and everything, uh, hopefully everybody's stay, staying safe. Um, I'm feeling good. Like musically, I just been kind of dropping projects, dropping little, uh, songs here and there. Um, but I'm really about to really ramp it up here soon. Um, just got, you know, my new setup and everything. So everything is going to be up on the up and up for me. That's what's up, man. Glad to hear everything is, is all well with you, man. So, Let's talk about your first release, uh, Move On. And I yep. do want to point out that that song is on my Spotify playlist um, for, my so, favorite, for my favorite local songs of 2021 um, thus far. It's on that playlist. It's uh, Look It Up on Spotify, hashtag Music Monday, local songs of the week. I be on Twitter with the Music Monday tweets, hand picking songs left and right, and there's a local music category. And I picked Semis Move On. It's on that playlist. It's all types of variety of local music. So go check that out. If you're interested in that. Uh but to move on joint, um what was it like putting that song together? How you feel about the vibe with that song? Like, how did it came together? Um, I really like it. Uh, it it kind of is helping me to expand my sound, um, kind of with the hook and everything and my writing style. Um, I really like to look at it as kind of a, a turning point for me stylistically, uh, just being able to do some more different things and write different records and and come up, you know, with different flows and stuff like that. And that was kind of instrumental in that. I also like it. It's, it's very much a uh, inspirational song. If you really listen to the lyrics, it's really upping everybody up and trying to really get you motivated on your grind, you know. So um, that that song really meant a whole lot to me when I was writing it. It was really quick. Like, a lot of the records that I put out, most of them, you know, the singles and stuff like that, I write them real quick. You know, I can really throw something together in 15, 30 minutes and, and be done with it. So that was one of those records. There's definitely some motivation behind that song. Um, Obviously, in life, you're going to go through some hurdles. You're going to go through some adversity. You're going to go a lot of backstabbing, betraying, you know, through right. family, friends, co-workers, peers, etc. Um, and with all that has happened this past year with this pandemic and the social unrest, and especially mm -hmm. in your neck of the woods of Louisville, um, you know, it's, you're going to go through a lot. Um, but it's, it's how you get through it and eventually, no pun intended, move on from it. Um, so given that everything has happened, um, this past year or so, shout out to everybody that survived, um, and moved on from it. Um, it feels like here in Kentucky, we're starting to see some restrictions loosen up a bit and more restrictions will be loosened up by the summer. So, um, live music, I see a lot of live music back up and running. 
which is encouraging. I look forward to seeing more of my local music friends again. Uh, so um, shout out to you, man. This is a dope song, and there's a reason why I have that song on the playlist. Like the last couple of years, when I do these playlist stuff, there's a semi song on there. <laughs> that's a semi song yeah, only. Uh, so yeah, we'll get a whole lot more on there too coming up. I'm keeping an eye on it. I got the Spotify, radar, everything. I'll be tuning in to Friday to see who's out there. So uh, I like, I'm, I've been a fan of your music for a couple of years, man. You definitely uh, right up there as far as one of the uh, a top tier talent in the Louisville scene, man. So, so props to you. Um, so let's talk about your latest release, Love Me or Leave Me. Definitely um, a different song compared to Move On. Um, tell us a little bit about the process of putting that song together. Um, that one was kind of fun. Um, I kind of have a, a couple of different bags I like to get into. So on that one, you know, I just want to dip into a little bit of storytelling and such. Um, and then just to try to expand like on the hook with, with a little bit of vocals and everything, just trying to expand on that. And that sound, just that BPM, that, 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 that flow is something that I really gravitated to. A lot of, a lot of the records I'm about to drop are kind of bouncy like that. And I actually really like it. It allows me to do some different things on it. So I just want to have fun with that record, do a little storytelling with it. Yeah. So most definitely, man. Um, so love me or leave me. That's out on the platforms. Move on. It's also available on the uh, platforms as well. Your last album release was back in 2019. That was for Ultra, yep. Yep. Um, which was yep. a dope record. I uh, like the Booker T joint with Peter Wesley. Uh, shout out to Peter Wesley. He's doing his thing. Um, that was adult record. So some artists are just releasing singles. Some artists do that and then they release an album or an EP on mixtape. Um, so, um, are we going to be expecting another semi album this year or are you just focusing on just putting singles out for the time being? Um, I'm actually going to do a little bit of everything. Um, I'm going to have, definitely going to have a lot of singles. I mean, I got a string of them. You're going to get at least a single from me every month. Uh, two, actually, I'm going to give you two this month, my birthday month, so I wanted to do something special. So you're going to get two this month, but every month you're going to get a single from me on top of uh, coming up. I got a couple of different projects, you know, with some prominent artists in the area. Um, one of them, which has been a long time coming, and I really think that project is going to be probably, probably, most definitely the best project to be put out in the area in a while. Um, just can't wait to get that started. I can't put too much on who, what, where, and why, but just know it's going to come by this year, um, as well as some other projects that, that's going to be top-notch, too, so... You're going to get a whole lot of, out of me. Um, you're going to see me a whole lot. You're going to get a lot of uh, different things. So just really expect everything and expect the unexpected as well. Sir, so um, be on the lookout for that. You mentioned your birthday. I think it was a couple of days ago. So happy belated birthday, by the way. Um, Appreciate that. May 5th tour season. Yeah, so shout out to, to everyone. Um, so... Love me or leave me and move on. Check them songs out on all the platforms. Support this cat. He's doing it and uh, he's going to keep going. And with this being his birthday month, he's got more music on the way. So be on the lookout for all of that for Sammy. Um, so got the music portion out there. Now I want to talk some wrestling with you because you're a fan of wrestling. I'm a fan of wrestling. Um, so, you know, WrestleMania came and went, we got WrestleMania Backlash coming up, and there's one match that's really getting my attention right now, um, Cesaro 
in Roman Reigns. That's for the Universal yeah. Championship. Yeah. Um, Cesaro, I'm a little torn on this match. And here's why. Here's what I'm torn. I like Cesaro. Long time coming. Hard working guy. Doing the right things. You know, people saying, oh, he should have been this, been that long time ago. And I agree with that. He should have at least had a world title a long time ago. Uh, so on one end, I want to see him win that title. But then yesterday happened. Jimmy Uso is back. We are not even with his brother. And it's cut in. Everybody been saying, okay, we got the Roman being healed. Okay. Roman has been incredible. Um, and everybody's hoping for that bloodline faction to really, and the Usos being the Usos again. Um, so. One one or two things going to happen next Sunday. Either Cesaro becomes the Universal Champion or are we going to get Roman and the Usos on the same page? Because it's kind of like teasing us with that right now. So how are you feeling about it, man? What do you hope to happen in that particular match? Um... I mean, I'm rocking Roman Reigns show right now, so you already know head of the table going to get it done. Um, I like Cesaro as well. Um, I think he's probably going to do a lot better in another company just because Vince is Vince, you know? Yeah. So I think he would do well somewhere else, but he's not going to be Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. I mean, a lot could happen in the wrestling business, man. You, you never know. Like, dude had a big match as well so many with Seth. It's like he's catching momentum. And it's just a matter of, you know, of course, Vince is Vince. I get all that. You know, you never know, man. Like, either either he becomes a champ or we're going to get Roman and Usos together and they're going to literally take over SmackDown. And that's bad news for whoever the tag team champion is going to be after the pay-per-view. Either Ziggler, Rude, or the Mysterios. The father and son thing. So, yeah. so we'll see. Um, either way, it's probably one of the first time in a long time when it's like, I'm okay with regardless of what the result, the outcome going to be. People be mad at outcomes. I get it, man. But uh, who else out there, not just necessarily WWE, but just other promotions, who's impressing you the most? Who's who's getting your attention right now? Um, Of course, you got to shout out Bianca Belair. Yeah. In the WWE. Sasha Banks is killing it. I mean, <laughs> she's the best. Um, you gotta, you definitely gotta say, uh, Street Profit killing it, uh, Montez Ford killing it, and he's, he's a dog. Um, <laughs> and they even outside the E, oh, I can't forget Big E, you know, Big yeah. E tour. <laughs> That's my guy. Uh, outside <laughs> the E, man, I really like MJF, like, Ooh. that dude is a heel, like, <laughs> in every sense of the word, man, he's really killing it. Um, yeah. And I kind of like the heel turn of uh, Kenny Omega, too. Like, yeah. we haven't seen the heel Omega in a while. So, yeah. um, I like that, too. Um, and, of course, you know, the head of the table, Roman Reigns, is keeping the company afloat, man. <laughs> He's acting gold. We got to get Roman Reigns in the Marvel Universe, you know, get him in. As a villain or something, I think I said a while ago, yeah. I want uh, Roman Reigns to be casted for Beta Ray Bill in the Thor series. <laughs> Someone said he, be, you know, of course he'd be an alien, so he ain't gonna look like Roman, but yeah. I think he will hold that down dope, you know? Yeah. Someone said he looked like Aquaman. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, he do look like that, but that's a layup. Like, yeah. he kind of expect that with his with his look with the hair and everything yeah no nah, man let's do something different we got to get into marvel first of all because they mm. know what they're doing 
Man, if they put him in Marvel, like, he would instantly be on the same level as The Rock, like, right now. It's the family tree. What can I say, man? It's the family thing. Uh, that will be incredible. MJF, he's a straight up asshole. He, <laughs> he's a straight up asshole, and people love him, man. I, and he's he's very young too. He's in his um younger twenties. So AEW, man, if you're looking at the future for the next five, ten years. He's that guy. He's the future of that company. You know, just his age and his potential and what AEW is doing. He is definitely the future. Now, being a fellow Kenny, you know, I'm a, I'm a whoa with Kenny Omega. You know, you know, that's that's my guy. Fellow Kens, you know, we, we all stick together. Uh, he, he got all the gold. He got the impact, TNA, AEW. He got all the belts right now. So he's, you know, we be waiting for that Omega. He like, he's been a team player when AEW got started, just finding ways to contribute. And now he's getting his opportunity. He's the top guy now. He's the, he's the champ. So um, I'll, I'm looking forward to seeing what's next for him. Bianca Belair and Sasha seeing their main event, WrestleMania. That was that was amazing, you know. You you know that was making history. So, um, yeah. so that's that's a lot of to you know to like about wrestling. Like we ain't gonna like everything, but there's some things to like about it. That's just how it is. It's always been. Um. So one more thing before we get into man, uh, you Buckeyes fan, football fan, Ohio State, uh. So. We have we had quite a season uh, with the pandemic, and we beat Clemson, which made me feel so much better because Dabo was running his mouth, and to see Justin Fields <laughs> lit that team up with six touchdowns, I mean, man, no matter what he did after that, he's an Ohio State legend forever. So. Props to Justin Fields, man. I, and I'm rooting for him. Hopefully, he'll do all right in Chicago. Um, so, how do you feel about the season that we just had? And how optimistic you feeling as far as expectations for next season? Um, we don't know who the QB going to be, but a lot of skilled players. We got a nice um, running back, a Henderson, Jack Sauer. Um, a freshman, a lot of people saying he could be right up there with the Bozos and Chase Young. How are you feeling about the Buckeyes football as of right now? Um, for right now, man, uh, I'm just excited to see who steps up. You know, it's not really just the quarterback that's going to be new. I mean, we all look at the quarterback and everything, and I feel like that's going to be C.J. Stroud. Um, going forward, and I think he's really going to pick right up where Justin left off um, as far as, you know, making plays and everything, and I think for the 2021 season, it's going to be, uh, it's going to definitely be a team effort. It's not going to be a quarterback is carrying us, because really, Ohio State the last three years has been carried by the quarterback, even when Haskins was there. Yeah. I mean, he was carrying us in 2018 or, or 17, so this year, it's going to be more of a team effort. A lot of new new heads are going to have to uh, step up and, and make them play. Um, but I think it's going to be it's going to be pretty different from what we've seen the last two years with Justin and that crew. Um, I mean, 2019 when we had Chase and, and everything, you know, we was we was wrecking folks. And then 2020, um, I think was a a very important year, um, just with. With COVID hit and, and Ohio State and Justin Fields being the one to spearhead bringing Big Ten football back and then, you know, fighting their way through the season and, and getting to the championship and beating Clemson, like you said, with the greatest play I've ever seen from Justin Fields, Tony, Dito, Olave. That's my favorite play all the time. Um, mm. So I'm, I'm really excited for what the future holds for them. 
Yeah, Je um, Coach Wayne Day is going to be facing the biggest challenge of his career as a head coach. He's, uh, you know, very fortunate that Justin was there, um, having some veterans um, like a Olave, like a Dobbins, uh, Wilson, and Chase, and plethora of other guys. Um, so I'm excited to see what's next. And I do hope C.J. Stroud becomes the starting QB as well. I watched some of the spring game um, a few weeks back. He stood out to me the most um, as far as the QBs that was out there. So we'll see. And I'm definitely keeping an eye on Marvin Harrison Jr. as well, who is the son of pro football Hall of Famer Marvin Harrison um, back in his coach days. So if yep. son shows a resemblance of dad, I mean, woo, that's going to be scary. That's a scary offense, regardless of, of yep. who the QB is going to be. But I do hope CJ becomes the starter, and we'll see where we go from there. Um, you can check out Semi on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, you got a website as well, two exclusive semi.com. Two exclusive sound.com. Uh, two, uh, two exclusive sound.com. All his songs is on there. Social media links is on there as well. And uh, go check out Semi, man. He's a talented cat representing Louisville, Kentucky. He's got some couple songs out already. Move on. And love me or leave me. Um, go check them out. Go streaming up. Run them numbers up. Show your support. Uh, Simi, great chatting with you again. Thank you so much for being back on the show. Um, best of success. Continue goals with you, man. Be safe out there. And uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye on the new music you have on the horizon, man. Thanks for your time. All right, appreciate it. Peace and prosperity to you, my brother.